and we are back. So, a couple of things to test out. Supposedly they fixed, yay, we have a proper Tusker trophy now, look at that, me like it, I don't even have to pick it up and put it back down again. Also, yeah, I'm gonna have to put this one <coughs> down proper again. Um, I'm actually gonna take this one off. Hey Froggy, welcome. put this one down here because it's bigger I might have to put it on the top row though basically take these four away and put the uh, Arctic Scorp trophy up there question is why will I have enough enough spots then to well, I can always put down those trophies here, put them down a little bit, like tidy it up a bit. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Uh, let's try and... Yep, there we go. Uh, you go there. Uh, I'm gonna leave those four. I'm gonna take these. And I'm gonna put the. Actually, I'm gonna put the horsey there so I can keep the two bears together. So, horsey goes there. Gonna pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up. He's still breathing. I'm gonna pick you up. You're gonna go up top. So you're gonna be placed there. And don't need these two no more. Uh, if I so I'm gonna uh, put you underneath the snow leopard uh, you can go under the snow wolf um, actually no first gonna put this one down here here should I no I think it's better to put them above here that means uh, let's see if I put how big are you I can put you there mm. I'm not. No. I can put you there though. Then I'll put this one underneath. Uh, you can go next to the Komodo. If I put you under the snow wolf, and I move you to the right to next to the snow wolf, you go there, then I will put you down first. Uh, too high. Okay, so the mount point there, I see put you here. Uh, should be going a tad lower though. 
you have the same issue. You're going to be placed higher than where I am putting you down. Uh, this is a bit too low. There, sounds about right. You I'm gonna put down a bit. Become a bit small, I know. Uh, gameplay is more important than my face, Froggy. And I lower. Lower. That's too low. Like, I could uh, make the camera bigger, but then it means you can see less of the gameplay. Uh, actually, I'm gonna move you to the right a bit, and I'm gonna put the... ...croc to the left. But yeah, uh... And uh, I also uh, prefer a face cam if I'm watching a stream, so I indeed have a face to go with the voice. That's why I have the face cam on. But yeah, hold on, I'll uh, I'll make it a bit bigger for you. Better this way. Uh, I'm gonna have to move the buffalo a bit more to the right though. So let's put you down again there. Come on. On top, thank you. You're welcome. And let's see about here. Yeah. So trophies are placed proper. This is this is this is desert. There's a woolly mammoth trophy. You're also a woolly mammoth, desert mammoth. Uh, I might have to visit the desert again to uh, try and find myself another uh, mammoth. I'm not sure there will be a desert mammoth here though. Uh, although the mammoth in Prometheus Swamp is the Colombian mammoth. Not a desert mammoth. Uh, Carl is not joining, uh, Froggy. Uh, I had a session with Carl yesterday. Because we couldn't do the normal Thursday Prometheus uh, gameplay. Carl and I decided to instead to do a mission on, uh, on Olympus. One of the missions he hadn't done yet. So, yesterday I was playing with Carl. Uh, let's see, let's renew the food buffs. Consume, consume, consume. Let's grab some more prime meat. Uh, from here. Drag gamey, don't need us. I'll take this. Let's have a look. I believe I have a. Uh, Scarecrow not doing his work apparently. I have a radar here. I have no radar scans. So, let's start the scan. As usual, and let's go to a safe spot. Don't really need it here, but. 
too early. There you go. There's a mower coming. No more. Ah, progressing nicely. Almost done. And done. Really? You didn't kill it? Okay, then you're dead now. Uh, no, not really a... Well, actually there is. One, two, three. Good. Uh, why are you stopping? If I'm trying to shoot you. Okay, so. The fact that there is... Uh, Three circles there, no? Three things there, no? It means there's like three... Uh, don't need those two. There's three uh, exotic veins here. And I haven't even started a mission. Uh, why did I... Uh, I don't really care about this one Komodo. I'm gonna skin these two, though. Like I said during Petsno's discussion... Uh, Epoxy, I'm uh, <laughs> I'm hurting for epoxy, so I did want I do want all the bones. Right, um, 1750 power from one wind turbine. So I have I'll have to check uh, how much tier four extractor. It's gonna give me power, gonna cost me power wise. Trophy bench is there. Which is full apparently. I have so many bare vestiges, I don't need that many. I think one stack of each should be fine. Same goes here. Well, you can actually use these one uh, for lighting if you want. Uh, wool vestiges, woolly mammoth, snow wolf, only need one stack. Don't need more Komodos. Do I have buffalo? No. Do I have moa? No. Alrighty. So I'm gonna keep an extra stack of those. Right. Uh, extractors. Let's have a look, shall we? 1500. So basically, one wind turbine per extractor. Now, if the if the uh, exotic vein is uh, in the grasslands, I, it means I can put two extractors on. Deserts, I'm not sure. Arctic is too. Oh no! Wait, didn't they say at some point they all reduce it to two, but to compensate the speed on in the grasslands is higher? I believe so. So that means uh, two extractors per vein times three veins, so six extractors and six uh, wind turbines. Let's actually pull up uh, Icarus Intel and now this is sticks obviously and sticks has a fair amount of uh, possible locations as in 69 of them 
Okay. So, I'll just do a couple more scans. Uh, I'm gonna work on some wind turbines though. Electronics, carbon fiber, those are the ones I like the most. I'm gonna run out of copper wire. So I should uh, smelt copper. Do I have copper ingots? I do not. So let's start smelting copper. These can be turned into copper wire. Grab eight of those, can go in there. Uh, do I have any smelted aluminum? Yes, I do, good. Uh, one wind turbine is gonna cost me how many? 25, so I need 50 to go there. The other 29er I can turn into carbon paste. What gonna run out of? Organic resin. That means wood and oxide. Grab a stack of wood. I ran, I ran out of oxide there, so we're gonna grab, uh, say, 100 oxide. So I can make more organic resin. Did I, by the way, fix this timer here? Nope. So, interesting fact. Yesterday I was playing with Karel. Karel was hosting. Peer-to-peer, -peer, I was client on a peer-to-peer. -peer. I had food spoiling. Now I am hosting a peer-to-peer -peer and I have no food spoiling. So, does make me... For, for, for me it looks like a food spoiling is like a, a, a server thing. Like, if you're a server in a peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, you have no food spoiling. If you're a client in peer-to-peer, -peer, you do have food spoiling. Which is interesting, to say the least. Let's organize this a little bit. Grab copper. I also gonna need copper wire and gold wire for wind turbines. How much of each again? 25 gold and 35 copper. So if I need 6 times 25 is 150. 6 times 35 is 210. Let me see if I did my math correct. Oh. Good. I also need a bunch of steel screws. Do I have steel here? I do. So I would need 120 steel screws to go in here. Yep, minus eight, one twenty. I'm gonna need a bunch more aluminum. So let's grab a hundred aluminum. Do I still have a concrete furnace somewhere? Maybe I should put it back up then. Where would I have put the concrete furnace? somewhere but where 
Or is it still most not up? Isn't it? Am I going blind? And I'm yeah, I'm going blind. There it is. You start smelting that. Put the gamey meat away. Oh yeah, let's not forget to feed the mounts. Well, not a whole lot there. Put the seeds away. I'll keep the uh, soybeans for now. They're not going to spoil anyway. Um, fifteen to go there. I need more. I need another fifteen, I think. I need silica to go there. Silica, silica, six silica. And let's grab an aluminum ingot. And then I need epoxy. 25 being crafted. Smelt that. Give me one the six carbon paste. Oh, I'm gonna run out of organic resin again. Let's grab 50 from here and drop it in there. Now I should be able to make my six. Yes, good. This can go in there. I'm out of gold wire. Do I have gold ingots by any chance? I do not. So I'm gonna smelt some gold as well. More copper to smelt. Gold and copper. These can go there. They're done, good. So you can go there. Smelt more and uh, make more gold wire so I can uh, make a couple more electronics. Uh, Was extracted there. And, and so I need 120 iron ingots. This bench is going to fill up. That's fine though. All I need is like a total of 48 electronics to make uh, 6 extractors. Um, I am gonna run with the Tusker because Tusker has a 3 slots for heavy equipment. So I can bring a total of four, <coughs> a total of four extractors. Good. Grab that, grab that. Make more gold wire. Check that in there. I need 100 aluminum ingots. I did grab uh, still one aluminum ingot from here, so I have to put that in. Can make one so far. see more of these I'll have seven that's not enough I need more copper wire wrong one I need this one so craft gold wire craft copper wire 
and then I can craft uh, more electronics, so I can make more wind turbines. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do, actually, is go grab the first one. Uh, so, if two extractors, two wind turbines. So I can at least start uh, mining one exotic vein. Because I need at least one uh, depleted vein before the meter event starts. Uh, I'm not gonna play three hours to see the meteor event, but at least I can do some uh, preparation for the meteor event. Yeah, it's gonna take three hours. You have to like wait three hours once the first vein is emptied before you can do uh, before the meteor will event will even be triggered so yeah I'm not gonna wait for that like I said I'm not, I'm not gonna play for uh, like three hours plus the time it takes to actually uh, deplete a vein I mean, it is war, like 1 a.m. already, so it would be like uh, 6 a.m. earliest, I think. So 4 a.m. plus the time it takes to deplete uh, to deplete a vein before uh, the meter event gets triggered. So yeah, no, not gonna happen. Uh, 8, 15. demand something to eat should do the other way around by the way first the melons and then the soybeans are these 10 0 and 10 let's fill her up then Less than half. So let's check some ice in. There you go. Yeah. Twelve miles fine. Yeah, with these, uh, this amount of mounts, I definitely need to uh, <laughs> get more uh, crop plots for animal food. What do we need for wind turbines? Electronics. For which I need copper wire. So, uh, first do the copper wire, and I'm actually first gonna run some electronics before doing the gold wire. Three, is this enough for another wind? No, it's not enough for another wind turbine. It is, however, enough for an extractor. I have two of these already, so I basically have enough for uh, for one vein. Yeah, you can't put these in your inventory. I don't think. No, see, they have to go here. Uh, a Tusker with saddle should be able 
to carry three. He can't. Only one. Or is it only if he has a card? Let's check that, shall we? Where's the card? Because if it is if it is the card, then I could as well take a MOA. Faster, because I'm not gonna walk with a buffalo in cards. Oh wow, here he can... Wait a minute, now he can carry five. And actually where I did... Oh, there it went. And... Uh, no, 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 I'll just, I'll just be uh, riding a MOA then. Then I'll just be riding a mower. Never mind. Obviously, I also need to bring this. This I can check in there. Uh, copper. For more copper wire. For more electronics. one don't have a whole lot there uh, enough for 35 for 35 electronics uh, and with ele 11 electronics I can go there. Uh, best to craft more of these. quickly sleep actually let's have a quick look at the trophy room oh yeah yeah, yeah. actually what I'm gonna do because I want you higher the cougar one so I'm gonna bring in the Jaguar trophy down Move the black jack a bit to the left. You go there, and I'll move you here. Yeah, so you can see the eyes a bit better. Those menacing eyes. Lighting is okay without electric lights. Obviously, uh, there's a few of those over here, the uh, paintings. And there is a bit of light coming from this side, but the, uh, <coughs> most of the lighting is coming from the uh, oxide lamps, the geode, geode lighting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's quickly sleep. So it's light again. Can deactivate you again. Need more copper. So I can make more copper wire, which I then can turn into electronics again. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. I have enough for 24 more electronics, 8 per wind turbine, 
not a whole lot, but better than nothing. Oh, and I should boop two, 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 two. So I'm basically on par with wind turbines and uh, extractors. I need one more of each <coughs> to be able to uh, mine two veins. So that's what we're gonna work on first. I should have a biofuel radar somewhere, which is an easy way to safely do a scan. Um, but where would I have put the biofuel radar? Been a while since I used it, because there wasn't a reason for a radar till now. There are 52 more of these to there, so I need 5 and I think 26 minus 5 is 21 more. I can't. <laughs> I'm 4 epoxy short. Uh, no, not yet. By a few radar. Huh. I thought I had it somewhere. No, it must be uh, on Prometheus where I crafted it then. Well, at least I don't need no electronics there, so that's something. Old War Copper 8 are nails, 2 glass. Do I still have nails here? Oh, I do, good. Yeah, I'm not going for the biofuel extractor. I'm going for the biofuel radar. Biofuel extractor is attached slow. No, I'm not sure. I might have to uh, carry this one on my back as well, though. Biofuel composter for a biofuel can. Yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, let's go do a bit more scans first to so I can actually find. Yes, he has to go here. So I can actually find the, the veins. Consume, consume, and consume. Map says one, somewhere there, so. Let's go do a scan, say about here. The other one is somewhere there, and the third one runs, say, somewhere <laughs> there. <laughs> way that way, okay. And let's do another scan, shall we? <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty. Let's go see. Sad lady. here or some? Yeah. Right. So, that went wrong. Didn't want to do that, I wanted it to go there. Go like that. And then the diagonal again. Really? Okay. Really? Come on. Uh, why isn't there like a rotate here? You know? here now can I yes now I can take this one out I can take that one out what I want one like that because now put you there I can put you up there and I can actually hold on access it from here Let's see what this game is gonna say about the direction of the exotic veins. Miss that one, hit that one, kill that one. Just a hit, and that's the kill. Okay, you're done. Grab that. Pick up you. Kill the Jaguar. And the Jaguar. the stuff don't need the meat or the leather from this one I don't even need the trophy where's that other wolf there Jaguars. Check out all those. Grab the bones. 
map says this one is going to be this one. So that means I'm going to do another scan here. Those two should be rather close, then I think. This one is the furthest away. Don't tell me it's like here in between. It could be though. Is this the middle of the... Yeah, uh, sorry, this is circle of the thumper, of course. So, okay, so I could do another scan there, maybe. Let's try, shall we? What's here? Iron. Oh, well, coal. Nee. Don't need no coal. Where is this? Going all the way to base? Interesting. Yeah, must. That way there. I didn't even know I had a coal deep vein there. Yeah, like I need a coal. Right. Come on. Let's do this again, shall we? I'm actually gonna do it slightly easier this time. I'm just gonna do like so. To the side. You can go there. You can go there. Oh, hold. Too close to previous scan. I'm here in the middle, so maybe do it on the plateau there. Yeah. I'm gonna do it on the plateau over there then. That should be far enough away. I would say. Next to the plateau, I can do it like here. One, two, th three high. Yeah, I know. Don't care, I have enough beams anyway, so <laughs> one like so. Put a stopper in. Place the scanner. This should work, right? Still too close to previous scan. Okay. So I will have to go up on the plateau then. Alright, no problem. I can do that. Grab, grab. Grab you. Grab you and you. Let's see, I have a ramp leading up to the plateau over here somewhere. Yep. And then I should replace these touch ones with a st proper stone ones. But it's fine. Is this gonna be actually far away enough? Far enough away? Still too close, okay. Better to check it here than first build up your entire scanning structure thingy, so. Let's see, how about here? That's gonna work, good. So, 
One, two, three, high, stopper, horizontal going to the side, play scanner, put in biofuel can, start a scan. for things to appear. Wolf coming at me, aggressive on me, not on the scanner. Interesting. I would have thought it would aggro on the scanner, but it's fine, it's just a wolf. I'll go down and knife it in the face. Or I just kill it like that. We have Komodo and a bear. There's the lag I don't like. It's better. Jaguar is down. Missed. Can't get it from here. So I have to wait for it to walk out. Like so. And then I still missed. Okay. Okay. Let's see, let's grab my good knife. I thought I was... Sh yeah, see? Now I'm able to sh shoot a bear if he stands still. Phew! Bad me. I'm just gonna skin him with a normal knife. Who cares? Uh, don't need these arrows. Don't need all that. Grab the bones. Let's skin these. Both of them. Grab the bones. Done. Let's see, map. What do you say? Hmm. There and there and there, so could it be here? Not likely. So yeah, I think I best do a scan over here. And I don't know, maybe over there another one. One pointing that way, one pointing that way probably. Is this not likely though here? This is interesting though, this one is closer, but this line, okay, should be this one, should correspond with these two. This and this and this should be one. going from here completely bypasses the desert. So it must be in the Arctic here. This one's almost straight north. 
And the other one may be thereabouts, slightly further. So I'm gonna go here first. Right. There's another bear to the left somewhere, which I don't care about. Almost looks like there is like a cave down here. Looking at how steep it is. Almost, though. The cave actually is over there. And we go again. I hope I have enough biofuel on me for uh, the scans I need to make. It eh, should be fine. Should be fine. So, scanning attracts animals, so better not to have your mount with you. Either that or I leave the mount a fair amount away from where you do the scan. Now if I have to go to the Arctic, I might actually take the Tusker just for fun. I mean, Moa is faster, obviously. You can outrun everything. Tusker, on the other hand, can outfight a lot. And taming a Tusker isn't hard, so if I do lose one uh, to a polar bear, I'll just tame a new one. Might be interesting to see how a Tusker holds up against a polar bear though. Yeah, if I only just cross a bit faster, because if I have to walk all the way over there, all the way to the northern Arctic, it's going to be a bit of a trek for a Tusker. So definitely have to request down this uh, module for taming speed. Sorry, speed of the Thames. And have the uh, the tamed food, the mount food, for more stam and stam region. So I can uh, run faster because of the module. And further because of the... I think the module also gives a bit more stam. Not sure. Food definitely, so further because of the food. And uh, start running again quicker because of the food. But it does mean I have to buy another one of those modules, but this should be fine. Because I have one at the moment which I am using on uh, Prometheus, so it is on Prometheus. Characters aren't uh, prospect bound equipment is. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just buy another one. There's no problem. Nice bit of open ground here. So, let's do another scan. One, two, three. Stopper. Horizontal. And then I fall off. Sprain my leg. So let's go back up. Put the stopper back in. Okay, I'll crouch up so I don't fall off. Scanner. Buy fuel and let's start scanning. Alrighty. Could have cheesed it and put it um, like off the cliffside. I've done that before. It's funny though. 
Then animals uh, on top running towards the scanner fall off the cliff. If it's a nice and steep cliff, they take a lot of damage and sometimes even die straight away. Like I said, funny. I do like the animal health bar uh, talent. Bear. Over there. That one that is. Huh, the pig was the only one coming in here. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so one is over there. We are can do another scan and the other one must be somewhere over there. I'm gonna go for this one first. Ah, uh, there's another animal coming up. Ah, who cares. As long as he doesn't aggro. There you are. I wonder, did I fix the Terranus aggro? Music. I have to eat something. Consume, consume, consume. Let's already take the canteen out. Oh, yeah, I shot a bear. Let's just grab his bones. Yeah, sorry, it's been a while, so I had to orient myself a little bit. Storm coming in. Uh, it is an arctic storm, hey? I'm not sure I have enough on me for a campfire. It's a green one, alright, but it is arctic and I'd rather not get frostbite, so... Then again, I also didn't want to sit in... Uh, forest and wait out the storm because it's only just beginning so let's keep an eye out for a cave and hope I have enough to actually craft a campfire do I? I do not, I'm short stone <coughs> so let's grab some stone, there we go <coughs> So now all I need is a cave. Like this. I do carry a shield, so I have to... Be oh no, I'm not carrying a shield. Okay, okay. I was thinking I have to be careful not to get poisoned, because that would mean I would uh, run out of stamina. Because of the shield bug. But it's fine. Activate. Warm up a bit. Let's make a stone pile so I don't have to carry all the stone with me. There we go, a bit closer to the fire. 
because the chili debug, if it goes on for too long, uh, you won't get frostbite. So what I'm actually also going to do, I'm going to put a torch in my light slot and light the torch. Will this warm me up enough? I'm not sure. This is not going to help much. Consume. Sometimes it puts out a fire, not always. This time, this time it did. So craft another campfire then. Deploy it. Take back some of that wood. Check it in there. Light it. And I get cave lung. But that's fine because I have pills on me, do I? Don't I? Yes, I do. So a consumer pill. <coughs> it won't stop working before the storm runs out, so I can safely take one already. So, okay. I thought I said consumer pill, right? Okay. No, it actually did. Again, the sound more uh, sounds like a vial or a bottle instead of a pill. But well, we say pill. Actually, yes, it's a stack of pills. If you look very closely, and it indeed says it is a pill. So, odd sound for a pill. In the meantime, I don't want to use all my wood there, so I'm gonna pull out wood, and from here as well. So as soon as the red part is over, I'm gonna hit Turn off the fires and I'm gonna continue walking. Do a scan over here and then do a scan somewhere over here, I think. Mm. About so and about so, so here. I think. I3 number 6 ish. Okay. Deactivate. Deactivate. I will run with the torch out. Should be fine now. Uh, just a couple of wolves, that's fine. Don't care about wolves. A couple of snow uh, rabbits. Still minus eight, but it should be it should get better soon. Because I'm chilly, so stun decrease I think and movement speed decrease. Minus stun, minus stun regen, okay. That's fine though. Movement is not impaired and that's important. See temperatures going back up. Chili thing should go away soon enough now. See, it's gonna gone away. Oh, uh, Tusker, Tusker. Ah, oh, okay, just a Tusker. Yeah, they kind of look 
like polar bears from a distance. Uh, polar bears are bears I am not prepared yet to <laughs> go take on with fists alone. Sure, this is sticks, this is not Prometheus, but still. Prometheus doesn't have, uh, does have Arctic. It does have polar bears. Uh, but this is no Olympus either, so yeah. Ready to scan, good, so let's scan. He's gonna come towards me, the Tusker, just spawned in. Are they all coming from that side? Wolf coming in. No longer. Juvenile Tusker is okay. Still scanning there. There's another wolf coming in, too high, now he stopped, stopped again, stopping once okay, but stopping twice is interesting. Stop stopping, really, really, come on, okay, who cares. Grabbing him. Single wolf is fine. Missed. He's a goner. He's a goner. I'm actually gonna grab some fur I think, cause I'm gonna have to spend the night here somewhere and I don't have enough fur at the moment. So, grabbing some of that fur. I have enough leather anyway, so temperature is going down. So I have to find myself a cave, a nice and cozy cave nearby. This 21st should be enough for a bedroll. Since I do want some extra fur on me always, I'm going to take the fur from this one as well. Can I cross the bedroll? I can, lovely. Skin this guy. And that wolf over there. I'm gonna take the arctic pelt, eh? So, and then, oh, stringy meat. Okay, I'll take that. See, there's one. <laughs> Yes, now I hear the uh, exotic sound. Phew. Yeah, and the other one, yeah, I really think I have to go there. But let's see, there was a cave somewhere around here, or maybe I should uh, actually check for doing my. We're fine. 
I have way enough stone actually. Let's get me a bit more. So I can leave a stone pile. Like make a campfire and leave a stone pile. So I did pass that uh, that exotic vein. Just a little bit too far away to actually uh, get the uh, exotics music. It's fine though. Managed to get it. I did get it in the end, so. I'm gonna grab myself a cave to sleep in. Then I'm gonna scan for the other one. I thought it was only a Tusk Racer cave here. Oh, here. My old cave, so to say. Okay. Good, there is still wood in. The snow wolf outside who's making the aggro music? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I have to craft another stone pile. Duh. Let's put that one down there. Let's deploy that one there. Activate, sleep, wake up. That was expected. Deactivate here. And let's see, I want it to go over there. To do another scan. Right here. So let's go there, shall we? Yeah, I know I'm that cold, but that's because I just drank. Is the torch going to be enough to get rid of the uh, chili debuff? Uh, not sure, it's a minus 4.53, so might not be enough. Food bath which ran out, which is the pickled strawberries or the strawberry jam. Okay. Time for another scan. Just scan it down, put the fuel in, and let's go. Good night, yeah. Snow rabbit. I still 75 arrows, which is fine. Uh, there. 
Those wolves are trying to get over here. Can complete it. See more than enough biofuel. So it is down there. Interesting, I didn't see it. Okay, must have missed it then. Skinning the wolves. Thread all that. Thread all that. Grabbing the bones. See, I killed something over here. And this one. And you as well now. I'm so glad I even made the option to like interrupt the uh, skinning. I mean, if they hadn't, then obviously I wouldn't have started skinning that wolf. This one. Seven hundred bone. Not bad. Basically head you east. So Arctic, that means I have to make concrete base with slanted roof. To be safe for snowstorms and stuff. Okay, I lost half my health there. Meh. It's fine. I'll walk it off. At least I don't have the chili debuff, so that's something. Does this actually affect my speed? It does. Minus 25% movement speed. Interesting. Ah oh well. Tough luck. So. Back to base. Prepare a couple of concrete bases. Take a MOA. Set up shop for one of the uh, extractors, for one of the veins, and then the other one. So go back to base and grab stuff for the other one. Not bad result. Oh yeah, now I'm moving faster again. Torch out. Seen in, really? I'm entering a flash storm and a severe one by the looks of it. Ah, well. Oh, well, 
It is a yellow one? Yeah. Big yellow, by the way, even. Let's see, I believe there was a cave somewhere around here. Which I could take shelter in. Wasn't there? Thought there was. I thought I saw one uh, coming down here. Does it look like a cave? No, it does not. Okay, it must be here then. Not? Huh. I could have sworn there was a cave here. Coming down here, I saw a cave on my left hand. Over here, maybe. That was close. Please, no forest fire. No, not here either. Huh. Well, <laughs> then I'll just continue running home. <coughs> oh, here. There. I'm gonna grab my uh, arrows today. Oh, okay. There you go. Higher, I was aiming way too low. Okay. How am I for... Since I'm here anyway, I could as well do some mining. to finish things off. There we go. Full of slots. Put out a torch. Oh, there is a forest fire here. Okay. Let's try and avoid it from spreading then. Yeah, Froggy knows all about uh, what happens if you don't stop forest fires from spreading. Don't you, Froggy? I've been in your open world a long time ago, and yeah, no, it wasn't nice. And it, was, it created a lot of lag as well, so... Actually, great, I can. Uh, charcoal already. Okay. Let's avoid ghost trees, shall we? Okay, continuing north, west, southwest. But continuing towards base. That's more accurate. So, two exotic veins located. 
<coughs> on an open world without active operation. Like I said, this is so gonna devaluate the uh, the purple exotics. How much will be in each vein, though? Like, if each vein is only gonna give like 50 exotics, then it's a different story. But if it's gonna give like two, three hundred, man. Yeah, I do wonder. Hey, floating tree. Let me show you something uh, nice about those trees. Look, trees are hollow from the inside. Did you know that? Anyway. Let's continue home and home. Yeep. Ah, didn't make it. Okay, tough luck. Oh, we're here. And I have to head this way a little bit, a little bit, so I can go up this slope here. For Ila, there is the base. So let's see, we did one need for the animal food, uh, seeds, and uh, wheat. Uh, this can go in there, that can go in uh, there, with some gold ore. Yes, copper ore. This one can go there. Live field scanner can go here. Some vestiges to go in there and there. I didn't need to bring the Jaguar ones because I already had a full stack. That's fine though. Arctic pelt goes in there. Crushed bone, one, two, three. Check in another hundred. You go there. Stone goes there. There, bring that. Stringy meat. Well, actually, let's put it away with the raw meat. There, harvest some wheat. Also, harvest more animal food. Oh, it hasn't ripe yet. Not surprised though. Crafting. Need more seed. So, seed cabinet, what do you have? Where do you have a lot of? A lot of this and a lot of that. I will be putting that back. Seven, four is fine. There. 
these can go here. Oh, I still had weed. Okay. Uh, anything else? Coal. Coal can go. Uh, no. Uh, concrete one is enough. For and then a couple of doors. One frame, four walls, two uh, angled walls, two roofs, two doors, now all I need is two chests. Okay, go here, two wind turbines, I'm gonna check this on the Saddle of my MOA. Are you a MOA of mine, Rongo? Yes, you are. Good. You're gonna carry this one. I'm gonna grab another one. Two extractors. Two wind turbines. So I have enough for one exotic extraction. I am. Uh, let's see. Follow. Stay. What did it say it was a new icon for? What did it say was this new icon for? For Mount Wonder movement mode. Sorry, but stay and follow. I think, yeah, follow might be slightly different indeed. Anyway, oh yeah, I have to uh, feed the animal. Yeah. You want a drink? Sure. Drink, and then I'll uh, give you some animal food. There you go. Change interface. Uh, request equipment, workshop, modules. Um, where are you at? This one. Ten creature movement speed and ten creature max tam. Load out. Request module. Request. Where's gonna come down? Over there. Lovely. You yeah, come on. We're gonna jump over the fence, over the wall here. Uh, <laughs> I am really blind. I just overlooked this one big time. Grab this. Uh, 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 put you to module, yeah, gives me six slots, it's fine, okay, here we go, we're gonna set up our first uh, vein extraction station. Okay, 
looks like your health isn't what it used to be, man. Oh, you're 100% health, but you l it looks like you have very little health for some reason or the other. Hmm. Maybe I should tame it with uh, another uh, one with another character. Because I do have a character with uh, like all the husbandry talents, amongst others the extra health for tames, and I think those do stick uh, with the tame itself. So yeah, maybe I should use that character to tame a couple of other mounts. I stay on this side of the river. Mm, yeah, and I'll cross somewhere over here. Let's regen some stone on the mound. Find a place now where I can actually get up on the other side of the river, as in here. Yoink. Go. You see the cave over there? I've built a base in front of this cave, or inside that cave at some point, I believe. Like walled off the entire front of the cave. Didn't have the dehumidifiers though, so. But, meh. I have no idea which mission it was where I did it on, but it was that cave that I know for sure. So we'll do this one first. Let's take this one out. Oh, I don't have the slots. Really? I can't drop something if I'm on the mount? Interesting. Oh well. I could have destroyed it. Basically, the same result. Free up a slot. I did not see any polo bear at first time I went here to like check it out. Torch on. So, I don't expect to see one now either. Still, let's just be careful and make sure we don't run completely out of stam. Some more stam region. Then let's continue moving towards the exotic vein. But yeah, a Tusker with card. Sure, I could have done all three veins in one go, but it's so slow. Stay. Okay, let's see. Deploy. This one over here. And a door frame. This one like so. Deploy a, a roof like so. Deploy a chest like 
Oh, yeah, I forgot to bring a couple of orbital exchange interfaces. So basically, what you could do is like do something like this at all the uh, well, all the exotic spawns. And then <laughs> you don't need to uh, like everything will still be there and like uh, hello I didn't say you could do that fit fit come here yeah and uh, so next time you eh, like there's the uh, it's, at some point you have like done it all and then if the meteor event happens you have everything right next to every single uh, wrong uh, right next to every single uh, exotic spawn location so all you need to do is like a couple of scans to figure out where the uh, where the veins are and from there you can basically Aren't you? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I have to put it around. Okay. Sure, then I'll put it around. Uh, so, all you need to do is like, do the scan and then you... Uh, ah, god. They're too close. Dang it. Uh, go over there, put down the things. Again, what did I say? Uh, put down the extractors and start extracting. Like everything is there already, so you just take a MOA, you run there, and easy as pie, you know? Still too close, sure. Uh, you don't have to bring anything, you, everything is there already, you don't have to, to uh, load up your mower, like now I can only do two at a time, like sorry, one uh, thing at a time, one uh, vein, because I can only carry uh, two extractors at the same time, so yeah. Okay, uh, three a minute, now if you run away, Nothing is going to attack it. That's something uh, we have determined before. And make sure you're far enough away and then nothing is going to attack it. So no worries, it'll mine. It'll mine a plenty. So now what I have to do is determine how much do you get exotics wise. How many exotics will you get from one vein? And then you can calculate how long it'll take before the vein is uh, emptied out. And you'll have to return. They can basically put a timer, egg timer down if you want to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make a couple of orbital exchange interfaces. I had not thought about that and put one at each shack. So I have to stuff at a second vein, so I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna put it down as well. And then I'm actually gonna call it. But yeah, put an orbital exchange interface at each shack as well. Sure, I have to create like what 138 uh, extractors and 138 uh, wind turbines. Wow. Once I've done that and like built uh, 69 shacks and object exchange interfaces and stuff, but once done that, it's like. Just walk up, uh, put them down, 
rinse repeat. You're gonna be uh, it's gonna be commented repetitive uh, exotic mining. So talk about that. What I also could do if I don't wanna make that many wind turbines, because it is a lot, run power lines all the way to base. Uh, that way I would need to make way less wind turbines. Come on, get up. Because uh, you can only have two extractors, sorry, six extractors uh, active at one given time. Which means next to my normal power uses I only need like five or so uh, wind turbines extra to power those six extractors now if you go that route you could take it a step further and say okay i'm gonna do uh, calculations first i'm producing x amount of power uh, i'm using y amount i'm adding six extractors so that much uh, extra uh, power is going to be used uh, i'm going to make sure i have enough power consumers so uh, i'm almost at the drop off point where i am out of power and then as last thing put a lamp in you can use this as a control lamp because as soon as the veins are depleted the drill stop and they should no longer take any power so as soon as a vein has uh, has depleted those drills will stop and then that light you put in as the last item the last power consumer should go on telling you like hey one vein is depleted uh, you could even go as far as put a whole uh, battery of lamps in and make it so they all go on as soon as all six extractors have been completed but that does mean a whole lot of lamps so i don't know put down a gazillion lamps in uh, in a room you're never gonna go to and then the last one in your base so you know as soon as that light comes on you know uh, both of the uh, both all three the uh, exotic veins will have completed bit of work but should work One more iron ingots to sorry, copper ingots to go in there to make two orbital exchange interfaces. Come on. The rest of these I can use here to make more copper wire. these and put them in there to make gold wire I'll check that no I'll keep that um, two wind turbines one of these going here wrong go There's that one, and those two should be easily able to carry that. Who's this way actually? Does it give me a weight? Not here, it doesn't. Oh, here, 10 kilos, okay.
You start making some electronics. These are five kilos, okay. So yeah, I did put the correct one in Rongo's inventory. Hey. You come here. You go in there. This is Rongo, right? With the stuff, right? Yeah, okay, good. Um, let's actually feed Rongo some berries. And then, let you do it for now. Consume, consume, consume. Come on, Rongo. We're going for another ride. Basically gonna do a rinse and repeat for the other one. Um, uh, I am gonna feed you some more animal food though. Cause I think... Yeah, I see now you have more stun again. So that food buff indeed did run out. As I thought already. Eighteen hundred, and I will have to do the last bit of traveling in the dark, but should be fine. Should be fine. Ted cold, maybe, but food and the module <laughs> you're no longer outrunning a MOA no way Jose speed differential is too big So, en route for the second exotic extraction point. I was hoping I could actually jump over, but that's still not possible. What is that flickering? Ah, must be, must be. No, I don't know. Could be, maybe. The PowerPoint thing is for the, uh, the power connector for the. Uh, first extraction point I think. Yeah, interesting that they're visible now. Usually they're only visible when you have like a power or water connector uh, or your hotbar in that slot selected to say. I don't know. Yeah yeah there's a snow event. Why not? Just starting Alright, just goes shivering as well, hey? Obviously I have no campfire with me, nothing, so... I have to find my cave again. I know my inventory is full.
Come on, Moa, get away. Everyone, I can take out his bone arrow. Like so. Uh, 1900, so yeah. So this. Oh, I only have one campfire on me, okay. This is why I got the. why I mined the coal. So there we go, warming up. Now obviously if I go to sleep and wake up, worms will respawn. That is fine. So I'm gonna wait actually for the storm to pass before sleeping. So I can get out in daylight and clear weather. Protection. I can put a stone pile in front of the cave passage here. Like so. Closer to the fire again, otherwise, I'm getting too cold. The same again. And this one I'll put there. Wow, there's a hundred stone in one go. Coolio. Deploy you over there. And grab those five stones. Interesting that well I know why. So it's storm and it is night. That's why I have to stay this close to the fires. To keep warm. It's okay though. It is okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna put this one down, so I'll have to go around, I'm not sure why I can go down, what's the best place to go down, here, there maybe, I have to see, uh, this here might actually be the, the point, go down here, set up the base there, including orbital exchange interface, and then I go back here, put down orbital exchange interface, then run back to base. Huh. Now looking at this line here, right? Not even the desert. Um With of that line, so from here, crosses like hereabouts, right? From here, it goes here. So, man, he 
Yeah, roughly the same there. So these two could be here in the desert everywhere. This can, however, tells me it's not in the desert, but it's here or maybe in this Arctic over here. I don't have the scanner on me, obviously, so I can't run over there to do this scan. But I don't know. Next time, basically go through here, travel here. And then do a scan somewhere around here, I think. I don't know, they might all three be, I mean, would be interesting RNG, but it could be that they're all three in the... Oh, cool. No worms respawn. Could be they're all three in the Arctic. the arctic in an arctic zone let's put it that way okay i definitely need my torch here which is by the way almost broken i'm not sure i have enough to build another torch but that's fine though okay why do we say probably there okay yep torch broken Crafting torch. I can't craft whilst on my mount. Craft another torch. That should continue whilst on the mount. Yes. Question is, where did it go? Did it drop it? No. Interesting. Okay, then I'll just craft it like here. And no, only now go back on my mount. I don't know. Is there even a safe way down? Well, there is safe and there is safe. Getting out might be slightly uh, harder, but... Over here on this side, like here, it should be fine. Okay, we are here. And maybe I can get out over there, but yeah. I'll try over there again. No worries. Uh, let's see. Deploy. This one here. Wall frame. Wall frames. One, two, three. Deploy these two. Deploy this one. chest deploy campfire on top of the chest because we can plunk some coal in put the door in that one goes there grab all that that one goes there Is it going to be blocked by trees? It is not. Good. That means I can put this one somewhere over here, far enough from that one, and it should still start spinning. It does. Good. Oh crap. 
That's just my luck. Push the wrong mouse button. And then it's even took away this other node. Oh well. From here to there. From here to there. Put down an orbital exchange interface, like so. And we go again. There's a cave over there as well, interesting, but not really. Running up the slopes here, not working over there. Might work over here though. Yes, it does, good. Out run the wolf, run towards the other. Exotics. Vein, I'll put a uh, optical exchange interface down there. I will check the drills as well. What's that line over there? Huh. I don't know. You eat and go. Alrighty. It is an odd line. And now it's gone. Is there a, a geezer there? But, uh, yeah, okay, so I must have seen the geezer then, okay. Looks interesting then from afar. Anyway. I see the windmills. Wind turbines, not sure what happened here. All screens went black for a moment, but. Ah, it is dry already. Okay. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Will be delivered. Okay, sure, yes. Take all of those. 70, I'll check them in here for now. Pick up this. Well, still, 140 is not bad. Actually, if it's this quick, Still 140 purple exotics, but yeah, like I said, uh, it's gonna devaluate. It's gonna devaluate these uh, exotics. Meow. Yeah, hey, killed a thing for you, Mr. Moa. Or at least, <laughs> so it doesn't attack you. Okay, so we can bring this stuff back. Actually, let's 
So, we can use it for the next one. Right. But since we now have one depleted vein, the timer should have started already. That means, next time I'm gonna play this open world, within three hours it should generate a meteor event. It also means that I should put the other drills in ASAP since I have an idea of where they are or otherwise if I do wait all radar scans will be wiped and maybe the respawning veins will be closer to home And then again, if I go to the to the last one there, uh, I didn't. I don't recall. Did I even get? Did I ever get them uh, the message like, "Hey, uh, you got like 140 exotics"? I don't recall having seen it. Usually, uh, one does see it, but. But anyway, the so next time uh, go through the desert and maybe see a desert mammoth, kill it and get a desert mammoth trophy. Maybe. If I remember, if I think about actually doing so. And this is fast. So I got 70 at 3 minutes. That's like what? 24 minutes? 24 minutes ain't much. That's done quick. So we took most of the time building the extractors and the wind turbines, which I currently have. So now it's just a matter of doing a couple of scans, determining where the vein is, or run up there with the stuff, which is fast in the MOA, on a MOA, and then just mine, uh, mine the exotic vein. Yeah, I, I have to keep in mind, I have to tell myself all the time, like, hey, this game could be a tad hard for new players. New players also want to uh, have the opportunity to buy all the fancy stuff you do, uh, you need exotics for. And then come on, we had the same. We had to work for it as well back in the day. But yeah, uh, I don't know. becoming a test too easy in my opinion still
Yeah, it's that too easy. But yeah, uh, again, uh, new players also want to be able to get to have fun, the nice stuff. So yeah. What I don't like is how <laughs> exotics are definitely going to lose their value, you know? It used to be something you had to... Well, on the other hand, like... Uh, Spirit Walk already was a, a relative easy to grab yourself quite a few exotics. But yeah, at least you still had to build a base and build the extractors. I said no. Yeah. I don't know. I'd say too easy. Too easy. Like thirty. How much is purple exotics worth? If you get uh, 150 of them in 30 minutes. Ah. I'm not I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what to think about this. Nah. I don't know. Anyway, um what did I wanted to check today is Tusker trophy. Arctic Scorp Trophy. Okay, the polar bear finally died down. Uh, so those two check. Um, exotics in open world. Check. Too much check. But that's opinion. So check there. Yeah, yeah those were uh, basically the, the main things. So if I would do a scan over here, it should no longer show this one, and probably by that time it shouldn't show this one either. That's something I'll check. Maybe tomorrow. I'll I'll see. Or maybe I'll play a bit of art tomorrow. I don't know yet. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna call it for today. Sure, I don't have to work tomorrow, but still, eh? want to be <laughs> I want to get up at a bit of a decent time so I'm gonna have to go to get myself some sleep now uh, I hope you enjoyed it I know I did uh, if you enjoyed it feel free if you haven't done so yet to uh, hit that follow button so you'll be notified next time I stream again definitely Thursday Friday usually Monday Tuesday as well uh, sometimes in the weekend, depending on whether or not I'm home, uh, playing uh, Icarus and Ark. Ark recently started uh, Ark Survival Extended as well, uh, so I'll be playing that, either that or uh, or Icarus. Uh, Thursday night usually uh, cope with Echo and Carl. Quite often. I do a bit of solo gameplay before that. 
Fridays quite often I do a bit of solo play first and then the patch notes discussion in cope with Echo and usually some gameplay with Echo. Since she couldn't, uh, since she didn't have time today to actually do the subsequent gameplay, I did it solo today. So, But yeah, uh, anyway, uh, thanks for being here. Again, I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I know I did. Uh, hopefully till the next time, and I will see you around.